So you mentioned what uh, Secretary Clinton, one of the presumptive candidates, said uh, yesterday. Um, uh, we've also had the other presumptive candidate come out and say at least two things. One is we should exclude uh, people from Muslim countries uh, from coming in because some of them have this ideology. And number two, if we'd had more people with guns in that nightclub, there wouldn't have been as bad a tragedy. What's your reaction to that? Did you see how dark it was? Yes. In the I club? think it's likely that more people would have been killed. Um, all I know is this. We had a 10-year ban on assault weapons. And that was passed when I was president. I signed it and we pushed hard for it. And no small number of members of Congress lost their jobs because they voted for that and for what was then a comprehensive background check law. We had a 33-year low in the gun death rate and a 46-year low in total illegal deaths by gun homicides. In other words, it worked pretty well. And then, you know, when it was, when it was allowed to expire, uh, for a while we didn't seem to have an uptick in crime. But if you look at what happened with these big weapons at Sandy Hook in Aurora, Colorado, and um, most recently in Orlando and San Bernardino, it's, it's pretty clear that the, if you're firing a, a lot of weapons, a lot of ammunition in a short amount of time, with a weapon that's designed only to kill, more people will die than if you're stuck with a pistol. If the guy had just had a pistol in that nightclub, I don't think anybody believes he could possibly have killed 49 people. So that's my response.